Okay, welcome back everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Zombies! So guys, we're back in this episode of Austinus where, as you guys know, we have been thoroughly hounded by zombies, I mean not by zombies, by rebels in this episode. In fact, the rebels are giving us much more of a fight than the zombies ever did. Like, it, like it's true. The saying about people are more deadly than the walkers is the truest statement that you're ever going to hear. Cause I mean, let, let's be real here. You would, you're not scared of zombies unless there's many of them. I mean, you still should be worried because one accidental bite and you're dead. But I mean, you're really scared of the people, not of the zombies. Cause the people are where the that's where the real scary monsters come out. In my opinion, that's where the real scary monsters come out. So, anyways, we've been colonizing and we've been like doing lots of stuff. And as you guys know, we added a couple new states to the union. Which means I still don't know what number we're on yet. It's so confusing. By the way, can we declare war yet? We can't declare war. Okay. Let's do that because I want to do that for a little bit now. I couldn't do it last episode apparently. So I'm just going to do it now. And apparently this is one of the troops were made over here. Two of the troops were made over here. I, I'm going to start managing where I make the troops because that's pretty stupid. They should not be made over here. And yeah... <laughs> Once all the once we get control over California again, we're gonna have a long talk about about expansionism into our country. Okay, so let's get that. Oh, I can't get this. Why? Unable to colonize. Why? Okay, well, I'll colonize up here. And I'm also going to put this on our death range, Nigeria and Nicaragua, because they're kind of no offense, but they're kind of in the way of American expansionist. And we kind of need them to go away, so they're probably on my next hit list. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, and let's see. Is there anything else I can give you guys that'll make you guys happy? Minimum wage? You guys don't really want? Trickle subsidies? Lower? Nah, trickle subsidies. I can give you guys trickle subsidies. Yeah, I pay for the poor, so you guys better be happy. <laughs> Seriously, I am like ultimately the greatest leader ever. Not only am I paying you guys doing a zombie apocalypse, I have money to pay you guys doing a zombie apocalypse, may I add? But, yeah, I'm, I'm like, awesome. You guys should never, like, revolt against me. Uh, but yet you guys do, which makes me kind of angry, which makes me have to do harsher laws. Uh, it's just, it's just this ravenous cycle that we eventually have to pass if we want to be a more united nation. And I'm going to go back to four because I am experiencing a little bit of lag, which is not good. And the Jacketsons are back. You sons of a, of a witch. Okay. How much are you guys gaining? What are you guys really... Holy gamoli gamoli zombies Is my population going down because of the okay, I thought I thought for a moment that my population was going down because some of these land is occupied and I'm like No, some of this is actually not zombie land Okay Yeah, seems like we're gonna have to be uh, mobilized for a couple minutes um this army is just basically acting on its own accord. I'll basically consider that the general leading the army, Joseph... Wait, not Joseph. Uh, Donald Stevens started the war with Bavaria, and he's fighting the war all by himself. This is the Donald Stevens war, in all essence. Because, yeah, he's going to get no help from over here in the States. We're dealing with our own internal problems. Because apparently, somebody thought it was a good idea to revolt against the mass dictator. Just saying, just saying, I am, like... The guy you should not revolt against. I know what I'm talking about, people. Just saying. <sighs> Anyways. So. We just conquered more factories. Steel railroads. I mean, we are... Our country, rapidly one of the best. Oil. We found more oil. Ah, oh, man. America is so great. Just everything about us is just... Awesome. Our healthcare. Well, actually, yeah, our healthcare, our education system, the way we vote, the way we don't have any slaves. America is awesome. And we almost got all the rebel control. We almost got the rebels underneath that control. Finally. It took a long time to get underneath. Okay. But it's almost underneath our control. That will be a great day when we finally get it underneath our control. And, oh, the number 999 sets a, sets a speed record. Good job. I don't really care though. <laughs> I must be honest, I don't really care. Okay, so we got more and more conquest land. Intervene immediately. 
Oh gosh. Oh, the free potentiary Baden. Okay, okay, okay. Whatever. Okay, we got more of this land. Okay, are you about ready to give up, Bavaria? You guys basically lost. You know that. No, no. The 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 holding on stubbornly to think that maybe I won't conquer them. It, it's it's futile. Trust me. I I will conquer you guys. It just it's gonna take me a little bit. Oh my goodness. Really, really, guys. More rebellions. Ah, uh, okay. Let's demobilize for a second. Let's see, how much men do we actually have? Shoot. Oh, it's mostly over here. Okay, I was like, wow, we have no men over here. Okay, I know we have an army on here, so I'm gonna go dock them up right over here. And we're gonna go send them to the States to go help with this whole, like, people's problem. Because I know the more you mobilize, the more they get infuriated with you. Okay, you know what? You're gonna go on the warpath. You're gonna go here. Here. Okay, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go then you're gonna go there, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go there, and then you're going to meet up somewhere down there. Okay, that is gonna be a war path. Okay? Go. Seriously, we have to get I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed with all these rebels. Like, seriously. These rebels are starting to get slightly bit annoying. So let's start uh I haven't even we haven't even created all of our troops yet for the new army because it's been like so annoying. As soon as we're done with this war, though, we should be fine. We just have to conquer the rest of Bavaria, and we should be fine. The first ever completely co colonized uh, safe zone. Like, we completely took these guys over without any regrets. Just like, BOOM! You're mine! Okay? We have more rebellions. Okay, what do you guys want? Seriously, I'm not gonna give you guys low subsidies you guys don't want. Low pensions you guys don't want. Why do you guys keep yelling at me? Low health care. Okay, stop yelling at me. Okay, I don't want any more rebellions. If I see one more rebellion, I'm going to start taking away freedom. And it isn't that hard, let me remind you. It just takes one simple click for me to take away your freedom. So, please, stop rebelling. <sighs> the funny thing is that I don't even have my taxes that high this time. <laughs> like, seriously, people have known in my past campaigns, I usually have my, my taxes all the way up to here. I'm having my taxes down to there, and they're getting mad at me. What's with you guys? Seriously, what's with you? I don't know. I really just honestly don't know. The girl from Chicago. Chicago. Okay, Battle of New York. Whatever. Okay, the Battle of Ennsville. Lots of battles. Internal crisis. I don't really care. Bavaria, you are now officially a part of my empire. Good job. Good job. Chitikawa, you guys can become a state? Welcome to the Union! And I still don't know what number you are, but welcome to the Union! Wow, we actually deplaced the population pretty quickly here. Look at that. <laughs> like, literally, I swear, literally just one episode ago, these guys were all like 60% uh, American and all that. Now it's like, whoa. <sighs> Gosh. It's probably because, like, the population's really low. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the most popu populous country place we have right now is New York, go figure. The lowest population we have in terms of states is American, I don't even know, but their population is 59 people. I, I, I don't, oh wait, no, these are regions, whoops, I thought they were also states, sorry guys, like, yeah, I thought they were states. Colonial province, incorporating as a state cost. Yeah, we're not going to incorporate Alaska yet. But I thought they were states. That's why I was like, oh, wow. That's a big state. Okay, let's go right here. Stamped out. Frederick Douglass, whatever. Zanzibar. Okay, let's just keep colonizing upwards. Okay. And we have a new state right here. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. We have another one down here. Boom, boom. Yeah, and this is why we're going to need to conquer... Uh, Nicaragua. It's like right in the middle of my expansion, and I really don't want to have military access to them. So we're going to conquer them to make everything all better. So let's see. Is this all one region? I don't think so. I think this is two. Yeah, but we can both colonize both. Yes. And that way we'll have a closer tides to our Americanness. We're almost there. And then we can also start colonizing all this part too. But yes. Uh, we almost own all of America. And we almost got America underneath our control now. 
Now that we have, like, major... Okay, you guys go right there. Go cross the, like, rebels that are trying to, like, do stuff. Seriously? Okay, and then you guys just stay right there. Yeah, okay, I think we got our country back underneath our control. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Ah, oh, come on! They just, they, they just won't stop, will they? I, I'm gonna be dealing with this for, like, years and years and years. Uh, okay. Go send my 27 stack to go deal with the, uh, future war with Nicaragua. Whatever. Just, whatever you guys have to do, just give me tensions, whatever. Battle Wichita. Okay, let's go right here. Go right here, Nicaragua. You guys have no allies, which is good, because it make it insanely difficult for your friends. And let's just go in, go finish these guys off. Think about what country do we want to conquer next? I almost want to conquer Portugal, actually, to be honest. Serbia. Could we conquer Serbia in one go? No, we could not, because they have a colony, and that kind of stinks. So, let me think. Um... I know we can't conquer Belgium in one go. We can't conquer these guys because these guys are, are a slave, are like a subservient nation. We could go to we could go to war with uh, Prussia again. Yeah, let's go to war with Prussia again. <laughs> uh, only because we can. Okay. Let's see. We open all the factories. Oh, my goodness, I keep having to open and reopen these things. Okay, but we almost own all of. Uh, we almost own all of America. We just have to get a couple more places and then we are done. Okay, so let's get finished up this. Iron railroads. Now we can get even more railroads. Oh gosh, there's so many railroads in my country. Let's get some real... Wait, do I really need realism? No, I need colonial education or colonial migration because I need my people to start going out to the... I need my people to repopulate the earth, basically. Because the zombies destroyed the earth and we need, we need my people of Americans to repopulate it. Okay? Okay. So yeah, these guys will conquer back that. Okay, and let's see. Do we have control of America again? I think we do. I don't know. I a lot of my army got destroyed during that entire exchange. Okay. And let's go right here. Let's go start sending like destroyed armies down to here. Start uh I probably actually what I'll do is I'll probably do once I once we have America underneath our control, I'll combine all my armies into one. And then just like individually group them out. Okay, you guys ready? Thank you. Thank goodness you guys saw the light before I had to destroy you. Okay, so now we are slowly colonizing all the way down. And that looks really ugly. I may have to do a little bit more colonization down here. And where should we go next? Hmm. Oh yeah, I already decided I'm going to go to Prussia next. <laughs> the Prussians are going to feel America's might again. Let me go put my army next to theirs because this is like... This is the biggest army in Europe, quite frankly. No other army is bigger than 18 stack yet. Let me make sure. Wait, let me make sure I'm right in that claim. Uh, no, Spain actually might have a bigger army than me. Wait. Uh, Spain might actually have a bigger army than I anticipate. I'm not sure. They, they're actually seeming like they're recovering. How much population do they have? 1.57. That's not too bad. For like a old world power that had been completely wiped out, that's actually pretty good expansionist growth right there. Which tells me that I should probably lower my taxes a little bit more on my middle class. Let's lower it to 30%. And taxes on my... Ooh, there we go. Let's just go on to 30%. I don't... Debts in this game don't really matter. Because <laughs> no, one, no one's going to enforce... Let, let's be real here. No one's going to enforce a debt onto me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. We have lots of closed down lumber mills. I'll open it one more time. This is the last time I'm opening it. So let's see if they will actually succeed or sink. They are going to stay the same? I don't know. Looks like projected money. I should be losing money, but I know that sometimes the economic system is a little bit weird. You sometimes gain money even though you're supposed to be losing money. Okay, I'm definitely losing money. That is not good. So maybe 35% taxes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was a little bit too generous. Sorry, guys. It's just, it's just sometimes war needs taxes. Okay. And 5.1 infamy. Yay! I don't really care. <laughs> like, that usually... I'm so... 
This is nothing really I can say that has not been always said that that has no longer an effect on me. And I can do whatever I want. Okay. Close down this. I'm just going to start closing down some of these because this is really starting to aggravate me. Close down this. Close down this. Yeah, we, we're not going to build any more lumber factories in America. Those things are kind of stupid at this point in the game. They absolutely, they, they basically do nothing. They just provide uh, wealth for my lower class. Which, as you guys know, I'm not, well, I do care about the lower class. Just, I wish they were a little bit less rebellious. I gotta say that. Let's see, how are we doing rebel-wise? Rebel uh, the rebels are organizing. They're pretty strong right now. Um, okay, I think we finally kicked out everyone. So let's see. Uh, everyone in America. Everyone meet right here. Okay, we need to kind of all group up into one centralized position so I can now start giving you guys uh, new commands. And we're going to see how big America's army is in total. Which is probably about the size of an entire country in some of these safe zones, I swear. I swear. Okay. So Nicaragua can be created as a protectorate. So all these places are now becoming my protectorate. Let's get down to here. Let's get down to here. Ah, oh, so close. Let's see. One more region. One more region. Then we group up America. And we can actually... I think I'm actually going to start colonizing some of this over here. Because this looks really ugly. Like, seriously, really, really ugly. We do not colonize some of this. This looks really ugly, but we're about to combine our lands. Oh gosh, I'm so happy of that. And we still got Yucatan. Yucatan right here needs to become a protectorate. Needs to become a protectorate. Okay. No one else? Nowhere else needs our attention. That is good. And more places have closed down. More lumber mills. More seatings and all that. Uh, this actually needs to be open because I do need workers in that place. Okay, close down this. Close down this, close down this, close down this, uh, close down the winery, close down the fertilizer, and yeah, okay, continuing. Okay, wickedness must be stamped out, biologyism, uh, can't fact, okay, now more and more things start to collapse. See, it's hard to, it's really hard to have, like, an economy-based system in this game when there are absolutely no other people in this game. Because I think what the problem is, is that, um, my people are trying to figure out things to buy and sell to other safe zone places. But the problem is, is that we already have more than everyone else. And what we need is beyond what any safe zone could actually provide us. So, we're in this very, very, like, I don't know, per se... We're basically outproducing all of our competitors, and we need so much, but yet we they produce so little. So it's uh, it's kind of sad. And there's the rebels again. These guys just will not give up, will they? They just like love conquesting. Okay, but let me just combine all you guys and slowly but surely, like just space you guys out into four equal sized armies. Okay, you guys break up into that. I'll have you guys go right there, and I'll have you go right there. Hunt down rebels, hunt down rebels, hunt down. Let me see this one. Actually, just wait a second. They'll start hunting down rebels once they all get into different places. Okay, there we go. There we go. And you guys are also hunting down rebels. You guys are not hunting down rebels. Okay. And there we go. More, more, more crusaders. And there we go. Now they're gonna go hunt down the rebels. With my death stacks of death. Okay. And... Oh, we lost all of our money. Shoot. Okay, seems like we're actually owing stuff. So, higher taxes for a little bit is always good. 45. 45. And we could probably tear up a little bit too. Mm, no, no tariffs. I hate doing this. 50% taxes. That should do it. Right there. That should make us positive money for a good amount of time. And should not have any bad repercussions in the foreseeable future. And the Pushkin Menace, they're coming for us, everyone. Those no-good Germans, they're coming for us. Okay, so now we're going to go after what region do we want to take this time of theirs. I think this region right here would be the best. What is this called? The... Uh, the Slunchton region. Uh, I probably butchered that really harsh, but 
Let's declare war for the Slunston region. Wah ha 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 ha. Okay. Because they, they obviously cannot deal with their own problems. Because they don't even have an own army protecting themselves from their own land. How are they going to protect themselves from my power? Oh gosh. And look at that. I look like, like I said, I look like an expansive Germany right now. Like seriously. Okay, and I got more colonial points. I'm going to invest them into, you know, just colonizing the rest of uh, this place. So it looks a little bit nicer down here. And now that, how much do I have? Not enough, I don't think I can colonize anywhere else. Not quite, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so now we just wait. Now people want more healthcare, I'm guessing, or good wages, or healthcare. Yeah, you probably want healthcare, don't you? Little pensions, acceptable. Yep, healthcare. How did I guess it? My people just really want healthcare. <sighs> I have to give them healthcare. New store in David. Good job, store. Okay, more factories. I think they're starting to become a little bit healthier. Now that I'm starting to weed out the bad ones, like, we still don't need that. Okay, and... We don't need a winery. We really don't. We do, we're not selling to anyone, so we really don't need a... We don't need luxurious good and goods in my country. We just need the bare essentials. That's what you really honestly need in a zombie apocalypse, is the bare essentials. Nothing of this fancy, dancy winery glasses. And I'm apparently a world like three different states, so... The handed Donschmidt will also be annexed. And where's the hinted Don Schmidt? And the Lenons will also be annexed. So these two guys will also be annexed in this little skirmish I'm gonna have with Prussia. Really not a skirmish, it's more of a minor destruction of their own wills. Okay. And I'm getting less and less money. Probably because of interest. So let's just delete all that. Get all my interest down. And I'm going to slightly tax myself just a little bit less for my poor. So that they don't feel quite as exploited as they should. Exertiveness. They just will not stop, will they? They are going to persist until I kill them all, will they? Oh. Chimney. I think they might have actually won this round. So I don't think I have enough army to actually fight against them all. Oh gosh, that's actually kind of scary. How much do I have? I have 206 I could mobilize. Oh my goodness. And guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.